Hi guys and welcome back to another video with Miss Shaw. Okay, so for today's session you're going to need a pencil, paper and to access the worksheets from the website. Um, so you can access the sheets at the end because obviously right now you're not sure if you're going to do challenge 1 or challenge 2 depending on how you feel about the lesson. Okay, so for today's session you're going to be able to, by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to convert between digital and analog clocks. Okay, so your success criteria is shown at the bottom over here. Pause the video for around 30 seconds for you to read the success criteria and to get an understanding of what you should or can or will be able to do by the end of the session. Okay, so for your starter, I want you to write down something you remember about the 24 hour clock and the 12 hour clock and what their names are from the past few sessions because we have you know it's been repeated quite a lot and a lot of the things that i have been you know saying have been quite repetitive because of you know um my understanding of how you know complex time telling time could be okay so learning how to read digital times minute intervals past the hour the numbers before the colon show the hours since midnight or midday. The numbers after the colon show the minutes. On this clock, the hour is 5 and 13 minutes have passed since the hour. So this is an example of a digital clock. Digital clocks are clocks that we usually see in phones and you know what pause the video and tell me where else you see a digital clock usually okay so what time is this how many hours have gone past and how many minutes past the hour the hour is 10 22 minutes have passed since the hour the time is 22 minutes past 10. Now have a look at this and I want you to write down on your piece of paper how many hours there are, how many minutes past the hour and then write down the time in how we would verbally say it. Okay so the hour is 3, 17 minutes have passed since the hour and the time is 17 minutes past 3. Okay, what time? What's the time? Set these digital times on an analog clock, then write the time in numbers and words. Okay, so what I want you to do is access the um, empty clocks worksheet on the Green website, and I want you to draw out these times on the clocks. So 8.17 and 11.28, how would you draw it out? Like that. 17 minutes past 8 and 28 minutes past 11. Now what I want you to do is set these times on your clock. So after your first practice now you should be able to set these time on draw these times on your analog clocks so your analog clocks are the usual clocks that we have in our classroom or a school they look like this the one with the 12 hours okay so here are your answers now 13 minutes past two and six minutes past four okay so now let's have one more try so get your empty clocks and i want you to draw the following times on your analog clocks Pause the video before I show you the answers. Okay, so here is 9.22. And that's 12.40. Now, write the time in digital form for these analog times. So, I have a look at these analog clocks. And in writing, can you please write down what the time it is? That is, what's the time that is shown on these analog clocks? So what time is shown on the first clock and what time is shown on the second clock? So 
So I'm going to pause, pause, the, pause the video for yourself for a few seconds before I go on to showing the answers to check if you've got it correct. Okay, 6, 12, well done. It has gone just past, the hour hand has gone just past 6 and the minute hand has gone past the 2. So 1 is 5, 2 is 10 because those intervals go up in 5. So 5, 10 and then the 2. And this one is 2.24. So as you can see, the hour hand has just gone past the 2 and the minutes has gone to 24. Okay, now I want you to do the same thing for these two clocks before I show you the answers. Okay, now I want you to do the same thing for these clocks before I go on to show you the answers. Remember to write it down in how we would write it in a digital clock and how we would say it verbally for both clocks okay so here's your example that's 8 11 so 11 minutes past 8 and 11 of 9 that's 9 minutes past 11. okay so have a look at this clock the numbers before the colon show the hours, the numbers after the colons show the minutes, just like we previously said at the beginning of the video. On this clock, the hour is 7, 52 minutes have passed since the hour. Once the time is more than 30 minutes past the hour, we say how many minutes are left to the next hour. Remember there are 60 minutes in an hour. So 52 plus 8 gives us 60. So pause the video for yourself for a minute. How many minutes left till the next hour? And how would you say it? The time is 8 minutes to 8. The hour is 10 minutes is 47 have passed since the hour. So what you need to do is work out how many minutes, how many more minutes we need from 47 to 60 to complete the hour. And then we need to figure out what the what the next hour is after 10. The next hour after 10 is good 11. So we have 13 minutes to 11. Have a look at this example. On this clock, the hour is 4. 36 minutes have passed since the hour. What time is it in the in what time is it in numbers and in words? How many minutes are left until the next hour? So the frog method that we did in the previous two examples. Follow that method and draw an example of how many minutes left till the next hour and what the next hour is and how we would say it verbally if somebody asks you for the time. So pause the video now. Okay, so the time is 24 minutes to 5 because 36 plus 24 gives us 60 and then the next hour after 4 is 5. Okay, set these digital times on an analog clock. So have a look at your clocks again, the empty ones, or you can draw it out if you can't access the sheets. And draw out these examples on your analog clocks. So 9.37 and 3.58. Pause the video before I show you the answers. And here are the answers. Okay, now let's have a look at this example. What time is shown in each clock and what would be the time if as a digital time? So if that's your time, how would we say it in our digital form? Or if you saw it on a digital clock, what would it look like on your digital clock? So write it down for the video. And you have roughly a minute to write down both examples of how you would see on a digital clock, say for instance your phone or your iPad or the TV. 16 minutes to 5, so how would that look like? Well done, 4.44 and 8 minutes to 10, 9.52, excellent. And same with this example, pause the video 
and see what 29 minutes to 4 would look like in a digital clock. Excellent, 3.31 and 11 minutes to 11. What would that look like in a digital clock? Excellent, 10.40. Okay, here is an example of a TV schedule. Some of the times have been written in digital form and some of them have been written in words and numbers. Copy the table and fill in the missing times. So copy out this table on your piece of paper. And what I want you to do is convert these digital times into analog and the ones where you have the analog times converted to digital. Pause the video before I show you the answers. Pause the video for around two to three minutes. If you need longer, you may. So here are your answers for the following table. This is what you should have got. Uh, hopefully you all did get those answers and well done guys. Okay, so your task for today is to use your terrific time skills to complete the activity sheet on the school website Year 4 Grange Analog Clocks 110620. If you do need to access the empty clocks as well, they will also be on the website. Good luck guys and well done. Please send over any work that you do.